Okay, everyone. So now we are creating the Windows application to swap two numbers, and these two numbers we are swapping with the help of call by value method. So first of all, we are taking one label here, and here we are saying that let us suppose the value is a. So let's say this is the a variable. Now afterward, we are taking another label here and giving the name that is b. So these two values of a and b has to be entered by the user. Now to enter the values, we are taking the two text boxes. So text box A in front of this, and text box for the B. So these are the two text boxes we have taken. Now we want that swap should be performed on the click of button. So we are dragging and dropping one button here, and we are changing the text that is swap. Now. There, the swap is not showing properly, so I am extending it. Now the size is extended, so we have formatted it. Now this is the form. Now afterward, we can provide the name of the form. Let's say I am providing my name here. So here I am providing Ankit Verma. This is the name of form. So you can see that the form name is displayed. I want that user should enter the values in A and B and click on the swap. Then number should be swapped by value method. Now double click on this. button you can see that the coding of button appear now afterward above the coding of button here we are going to create the function because we are going to perform this with the help of the function there are two ways one is the procedure procedure is not returning anything that is sub procedure and second one is function which return the value so here we are using the function which return the value so we are adding here keyword function we are making the function as swap so swapping of two numbers so we are taking two variables here a as integer comma b as integer so these are the two variables we have taken now this function is going to return something that's why we are putting as which return type we want we want that return type should be boolean so we are putting that boolean now press enter so here we can see that this is the end function now here inside we are going to define or the declare one variable dim t as integer this is the temporary variable now afterward we are saying that let us suppose a and b values are given by the user we need to swap so this is the third variable we have taken we are taking t is equal to a means the value of a is stored into the t then a equal to b so the value of b is going to a then afterward b is equal to t so the value of t is going to the b now now afterward we know that this function is going to return something because the return type is boolean that's why we are putting here return there are two ways by which we can return either we write simply return in the bracket we simply write true that is the one way now there is another way by which we can return we can simply write the name of function that is swap then afterward we simply write equal to true so both ways are fine so we are opting for the second way so we should only take one way so we are taking the second way swap is equal to true now afterward we are putting the message box whenever the operation is performed we are putting the message box that values after swapped or we can say that swapped values so afterward we are having let's say the a so a is equal to the number a we are taking so we are concatenating with one and operator this is for the concatenation now we are writing the variable the variable a we are taking then again we are concatenating that is and then again we are concatenating with the next variable which is b equal so here we are again concatenating with the b so we can see that these are the two variables we have taken we are clicking back and we should provide some space in between so that compiler understand so here it is saying that swap values a equal to so it will show the value of a b equal to it will show the value of b so this is how we have provided now this is the function swap this is ready now we are going back to the button because we want that whenever the button clicked the text box 1 and text box 2 these values should be taken and then swap function should be called so this is the coding of button here we are taking two variables dim a as integer 
and dim b as integer or we can provide both together dim a comma b as integer now afterward in the a we are taking the value from the user so a is equal to value of text box one dot text so whatever the user is writing in the text box one that is going here then b is equal to text box two dot text so here the value from the user is taken from the text box and it is converting to the val that's why the val function is applied so the text box one and two values are taken into a and b afterward we are going to call the swap function we know that swap function is nothing but simply swap and passing the a comma b so here these two values are going to the a and b we know that the above function is going to return something as boolean type so we need one more variable dim r let's say r as a result so r as boolean so from this r we can take out the result now we are putting r is equal to swap so we can see that here a and b these values are going up and from there the r will be taking the result from the above function now we can apply simply if r is equal to true if r is equal to true means we know that whenever the swap function is successfully called it is returning true so if r is true then we can change the text box values so we can say that text box 1 dot text will be equal to a and text box 2 dot text will be equal to b so that means if the successfully the values are changed then we can show their results here so this is how we have completed the program of swapping the two numbers now here we are going to apply by val we should know that there are two more methods by ref or by val if you simply write by val that means these are the value method so we are again applying here that is by val so before these two variables a and b we are applying by val means these are the value method so now we are going to run this project if we run this project and afterward we are having the window so on the top we are having our name which is ankit parma then afterward we are having a and b now here in the a let's say we have the number which is 20 and in the b we are having the number which is 99 now this is text box 1 and 2 and if we click on the swap we can see that the swapped values are a is 99 and b is 20 so whenever we click on this button this coding run a and b are declared as integer type then r as boolean a and b is taking the value 20 and 99 it is going to call the function here so a and b values are 20 and 99 again the values are swapped and they are showing the 19 and 20 are the swapped values it is going to return true now if we click okay we can see that values are not changed here here we are changing the values but values are not changed the reason is that because we have called by value method we can recheck that if i am giving some numbers here then after we click on swap we can see that these two numbers are swapped in the message box but once i click okay they are not reflecting here because they are called by value method so now we are going to understand this that how the function is working so now we are learning the step by step progress of this program first of all here we have the output window where the top we are having the name ankit varma then there are two labels a and b so here user has entered the values in the text box 1 that is 20 and in the text box 2 the value user has passed that is 99 and click on the swap button now after the swap button we know that this is the procedure that is called because this is the procedure of button private means access inside sub means no return type button one dot click is the name and here two arguments are passed by the dot net and is going to handle the button one dot click means whenever the click on the button then this particular code run now afterward two variables are declared dim a b as integer now these are the two variables these two variables are declared inside the block what is the block here is the button now this button coding here is the normal block that means they cannot be accessed outside this boundary so they are starting from here and ending till there outside they are not accessible 
Afterward, we have one more variable dim r as boolean. Boolean variable can only store true and false values. So r, this is the boolean variable. This is also accessible only inside the boundary between sub and the end sub. Now afterward, we are having a is equal to value of text box one dot text. So from text box one, the value twenty is taken and stored to a. So twenty is taken here. Then afterward, b is equal to value of text box two dot text. So from text box two, the ninety nine value is taken and stored to the b. Afterward, we are going to call the function which is swap. So this function we are calling and it is containing two arguments a and b. Above that, we have defined a function. It is also starting with the function and going till the end function. Once here we see the swap. and in between two arguments are there a and b so this is now going to call the function so afterward this function is going to call and control is shifted on the top so here we can see that this is the swap function which is called now here we can see that the name is matching swap so this is the name of function a as integer now the value of a will be taken there which is 20 so this 20 value is there now afterward b as integer so this b value 90 so this b 90 is taken and going here why the values are going only because we can see that by val method so the values are copied here we should understand that a as integer b as integer so two variables are declared inside the boundary of swap so this a and b are again declared and these values are copied so here the value is 20 and the value is 90 these are copied now afterward inside that we are having the dim t as integer so one more variable declared t that is inside the boundary what is the boundary boundary start from the function and going till the end function outside they are not accessible now t is equal to a so the value of a going to t so this 20 is going here into the t afterward a equal to b so the value of b going to a now the b value is 90 which is going to a so the new value of a is 90 afterward b equal to t so here inside the b we are having value t so the b value is updated with the 20 we can see that their values are modified so these are having the new values now afterward we are having swap equal to true we know that there are two ways of returning either we can write return true or we can write swap equal to true this is the function who is going to return as boolean type so here true is going to return that means this true is going to return from here as boolean and now this boolean will be going back and giving this value to this r now afterward we are having message box swapped values a equal to a and b equal to b now we can see that here we are having the message box where it is mentioning swapped values are a equal to this value we suppose that this is the 90 so the value of a is taken as 90 now the value of b is taken as 20 we can see that inside this particular area the values are 19 and 20 they are perfectly swapped now the control is shifted back so here in the r we are having the true because true was returned from the above now afterward if r equal to true yes r is true because true was returned text box 1 dot text is equal to a now we should understand that text box is taking the value of a once i click okay now the value of a which value it will take it will take the value 90 or the 20 it will take the value of 20 not 90 because we have passed by value method in the value method only copies are passed address is not passed so if copy is passed whatever anybody do that is not affecting here so here the value is still 20 whenever you are clicking okay here again here you will see the value will remain 20 text box 2 dot text is equal to b so here which value will come it will be 90 or 
the value will be 90 because we know that they are called by the value method. So here only 90 will come, 20 value will not come here. So here it will be 90. That means value will be same because these are the part of the button function scope and they are not going outside. So whenever we are calling by value method, we are passing the copies. Anybody is changing them, that will not reflected here. So this is how we can work with the call by value method.